So using this as a tacker, there's a lever here that has to be all the way to the right. It'll show two, uh, a button with two holes in it. That's where this lever stays for the tacker. So we come around to the front, we turn the unit on. Hit the reset. We'll go through a couple of stitches and up. So, in order to do a tack, load the work. Press the pedal down part way till it clamps. And now just press it all the way. So it'll go through its cycle, cut, and come out. Some of the settings on the machine are speed, press the P once, you can go up and down. So for a heavy tack, I set the machine at 500, okay? Now you'll see indicators here of two holes, four holes, and four holes. So what these are, are actually stitch counts. So there's eight stitches, this is 16 stitches, and this is 32 stitches. So this will give you eight stitches. This will give you 16 stitches. And this will give you 32 stitches. Okay, when you're doing a tack, all you really need is eight stitches. And then it comes out, it cuts, it automatically cuts the thread. You can see it each time. So if you go to too high of a speed and then press OK, so we're at 1500 RPM. So what's going to happen is it's going to get too hot. It's going to start burning the material, especially if you have a blackout, and then you're going to start seeing the stain. And plus you have a much more possibility of skipping. So when you're doing a heavy pleat, 500 RPM is where it really runs well on the very heavy pleats. Um, on something a little heavier, you could possibly run a higher speed.